One martini is all right, two are too many, and three are not enough. Well, I'll tell you another one. A guy walks into a bar, orders a martini. The bartender fills the shaker with ice, adds the gin and the vermouth, and shake it full power. The guy drinks his foamy, slimy drink, pays and leaves. He never comes back. Not funny, right? Well, I met lots of bartenders, incapable to make a good martini. There are thousands of recipes for it, and, and everyone has his own way to make it. But there are two common things, the gin and the stir. Because after all, that's, that's what it is. Ice cold gin, slightly diluted. It all depends on the vermouth, on the ice, on the dilution and on the gin. Um, and let's state it straight away. Between a dry and a wet, uh, the difference is only on the vermouth, the amount of it. From 0 to 10 ml. It's one of my favorite drinks and uh, it took me hundreds of them to get it right. Made, but mostly drunk. You start with a chilled mixing glass. And then you add 60 ml of uh, good quality gin, mine is number three. And then the vermouth, 3 ml of cocky americano. And then you add the ice and gently stir. The spoon drives the gin and the ice in a slow ballade. Always tasting it before serving. A grapefruit zest and a frozen glass in my martini. Uh, well, yeah, then there's the vodka martini, but I prefer to leave it to who cannot handle a good drink.